Welcome. In front of me is a Poco C40 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So, to get started, let's open up settings and I'll begin with uh, number one, dark mode. So, it's under the display. Now, typically you do have the normal switch between light and dark mode but we do also have the inclusion of schedule dark mode which is something that I personally do like to use so when enabled it will automatically switch uh, switch between dark and light mode based on time of day and this will basically ensure that you can have light mode during the daytime when I believe it will just look a little bit better in direct sunlight and during the night time when it's getting dark I can have dark mode which won't be blasting your irises with this white light. So that's kind of what I like to use. Now obviously you can also switch it to be permanently in dark or light mode if you want to. Now moving on to the next option which is also under the display, it's going to be the color scheme. This allows you to choose between different kind of like color saturations. So we have the vivid one which is set by default, we have the standard one. Uh, which does have a little bit of a difference it's very unnoticeable on the camera for some reason uh, but in person i do get to see the white color so that basically the space here becomes a little bit more yellowish it's not by much but uh, it's just a little bit and the colors do switch but this is so uh so small that it's hardly noticeable now we where you actually get to actually wait this is vivid uh, saturated and don't have standard and where you actually get to s see the difference and again not as noticeable on the camera but you do get to see the difference uh, in the phone for some reason the camera isn't picking up the difference in like the how the actual like white background right here is displayed but with standard, it does become noticeably more kind of like yellowish. Something like if you ever turned on and off True Tone on an iPhone, uh, this is kind of the difference that I kind of feel like there is one. Now you do also get to see actual difference in the colors right here. So this is something that is very noticeable, unlike the, uh, the white colors in the background. Obviously, there's no right answer right here, so pick whichever one you think looks best. If you don't like your image to be as saturated, I can just turn on standard. If you do, then obviously just keep it on. Now, moving on to the next option, it's going to be the gesture navigation. You can quickly access it from the display by scrolling all the way down to full screen display. And I believe it's also the default location of it is in advanced features, but it's easier to get it right here considering we are already in the display section and we can click and click on this and it will transfer us here so right here we have the full screen gestures for some reason it's named kind of wonky uh, just keep the same name as everybody else it makes it easier to find we all start naming our features a different way it's going to be a nightmare so just gesture navigation would be nice uh oppo now when enabled it does give us a quick guide or ability to view a quick guide if you know how to use gestures obviously you don't need to if you never use them it might be a good thing to try to see how they work so let's select learn so from from uh, bottom quickly this will take us home so just flick up like this uh, when it comes down to this gesture do it from the bezel upwards this will ensure that you get your gesture uh, correctly every time then we have swipe and hold so the same as before but this time around we're just gonna hold it this will take us to the recent applications and then swiping from either side of the screen acts as back button and there we go so that's it now moving on to the next thing which i wanted to touch upon is going to be the home screen section so let's go back to the main settings page and in here we have home screen right over here and you have a couple options number one you can change your default launcher from here if you want to use a different one you can change it permanently here so whenever you go home it goes to a different home um, we do have the personalization so background icon packs which is really nice inclusion that you can actually change icon packs from the default launcher something that for instance Samsung does not allow go figure um, 
we have icon layouts so this is something that i'm gonna change i'm gonna make them super small because by apparently on a small size they're freaking enormous so i'm just gonna go back here apparently it closed it so let's just open that up let's make them super small let's apply and that looks a little bit better. I think there is some kind of like uh, accessibility uh, kind of mode enabled where everything is a little bit bigger. So that's, I think, one thing that's affecting the icon size. I don't think they should be as big by default. Now, in here, you also have a couple additional things. This is, obviously, you can see I have app categories. This is something that is nice. Um, Xiaomi has this thing where you access your app drawer, as you can see. You do have obviously by default all the apps right here but they add categories in here apps when installed they get automatically sorted into a, each category as well so you can scroll through them you can edit them in here so basically home screen section right there where i was showing you and you can remove them if you don't want all of them so we could shorten it by quite a lot uh, you can create your own categories in here somewhere oh, there we go by selecting plus so we could just add a specific category and then drop uh, specific apps into it and have your own custom ones and obviously you can also swap the orders of them by just grabbing and dragging one over top of the other one so they are going from the top these are the first ones and all the way game would be the last top that is visible so yeah now moving on to the uh, last thing that i wanted to touch upon it's going to be the uh, gesture shortcuts so this is located under the settings and is it additional settings yep additional settings gesture shortcuts and in here we have a couple shortcuts that you can utilize some of them might not be your cup of tea uh, it's completely understandable so we can go through a couple of them or all of them it's not like there's many of them and you can toggle on whichever one you actually want to utilize so take a screenshot uh, so slide three fingers down uh, or obviously you can hold the volume down plus power key this is the typical one but the uh, three fingers swipe down see if it's enabled so it is enabled we'll capture a screenshot as you just seen now there we go now one thing that i personally do like here is the inclusion of this option right here so uh, turn on torch it does it by selecting or pressing the power button twice now there is a little bit of a downside to this every time you do so it locks the device because even though you're double pressing it it's still a power button so it does lock the device but just to kind of showcase this as you can see it's enabled now like i said the device becomes locked but even when it's locked you can turn it on and off at will and this is really nice in my opinion personally do like to have a really quick access to a uh, flashlight like this so this is a really nice setting you also have things for launching cameras so double press the power button so i guess you can't probably have both of them considering uh, this Let's see what happens yep so you can replace it so you can only use one of them when it comes down to either camera or uh, or torch so yeah but anyway this would conclude the tweaks and tricks that i want to show you and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching